When I go to the grocery store and look for products, you know I'm looking for that good deal. You know that nice, beautiful deal that's going to save you some money. But what, but, but Jess, this is a Gundam review video. Why are you talking about groceries? Well, because the Gundam Virtue is the perfect deal. A two-in-one type of deal that you cannot pass up. Now, you're going to have to forgive me for the lack of pre-completed build footage. As I did not think to record any of the build because of how excited I was to put this kit together. So you'll have to live with the nice B-roll footage Brian and I were able to capture. The first whole unit that the manual is going to ask you to put together is going to be the GN004. Gundam Nadley. Nadley. Niddle. Needle. Nadley. So we'll focus the first part of this review on it. The Nadley demonstrates traces of its ancestor, the Dynamis. With those beautiful joints that, well, actually might feel a bit too stiff according to Brian. Yeah, these are pretty stiff, but a good stiff. Okay. Now it's probably the time to stop saying that word. More than anything, what most builders want from a completed build is the promise that it isn't a hand grenade. And that's what you get here. A kit that will retain its pose even when thrown against the wall. The kit also sports some of the best articulations on the Dynamis itself. The joints in the hips to the thighs are smooth. This is the type of engineering design I hope makes its way to the other master grades down the line. The arms are a little more limited, but that's to be expected. All in all, you can see that the Nadley has some great possibility. But then, ugh, we get to the head. Oh, Gundam gods, the head. I should rephrase and say, the do. What is this hair? Who thought to themselves, you know what would look good on the Master Grade kit? Hair. Stupid, rigid hair that takes away any sort of movement from the head. If we take off the hair and the mustache, beard, or whatever it's called, I literally do not know what this is called, you'll be able to move the head to the side instead of it forever stuck in one position. Get a barber, Natalie. This cannot stand. All kidding aside, this problem could have been avoided had Bandai decided to make a hair out of more malleable material. When taking a closer look, the Natalie features some small but noticeable surface detail, enough to come to life with some panel lining. It also comes with enough surface area to get some of that nice scribing done in it too. The Natalie also comes with its own weapons, the GN shield and the beam rifle. The bean rifle, though, does leave me with a sour taste since it's your typical 2010 one-colored weapon. I just wish Bandai would step up in the weapon department and provide more color separation out of the box. I don't want 20 colors on a rifle, but at least give me two, maybe three. The shield is a very basic design. It features a simple but effective peg that attaches to the left arm, and it looks pretty nice to be honest. All in all, the Nadley is a beautiful precursor to the star of the show. Now to the star. The reason for the 2-in-1 tag I gave it. The GN005 Virtue. Now I want to make one thing clear here. I like Gundam kits because of the kits themselves. And I mention this because I never had a connection to the 00 line. In fact, I've never seen the anime, save for the movie where the quant appears. But to hear my friends go crazy for the Virtue when it was announced was another experience. Derek absolutely was excited for the big old tank and Kevin, oh Kevin, was talking about this kit existing since the Dynamis came out. It's everything he would talk about. And I didn't get the reason why until now that it's standing in front of me. The kit has this huge presence next to many other Master Grades. The hulking mass of a tank that it is intimidates all kits next to it. A lot of Gundam designs try for this route of mega armored suits, but tend to backpedal a bit and end up making a slightly thicker version. Not the Virtue though, the Virtue goes all out. To get this beauty, you will have to dress up the Natalie with all the armor. It's a painless process once you have the armor built. I mentioned this a lot throughout my first party Bandai kits, but the tolerance is straight out of the factory for modern day kits from them is so precise that you never have to force any of these pieces to fit properly. I advise you to always place the armor pieces in the same order that the manual provides 
as it will avoid dealing with any of the bigger pieces from getting in the way. Putting the kit together takes around 4 minutes if you don't know what you're doing, so props to Bandai for making the process super smooth for those newcomers. Taking a look at the rest of the kit, it has the same amount of surface details as before, subtle enough to bring the kit to life with some panel lining. And even more exciting is the amount of surface area ready for customizing for those of us who enjoy scribing. Articulation wise, the kit definitely sacrifices some extreme movement the moment it becomes a tank. The legs still bend nicely and can even swivel all the way around the waist joint. You just won't be getting the full bend that existed in the Natalie form. Arms still keep the same amount of movement as before, but unsurprisingly, the head gains more movement since the hair extensions are no longer there or limited. You can even headbang to some crazy music if you're into that. The backpack itself holds the GN cannons. What I thought was surprising as well is the amount of movement the backpack arms possess. You can pose them where you like without having to worry about the joints not being able to hold the weight of these things. They even feature some gimmicks that can extend the barrels. The cannons hide a little handle underneath that can be used to pose with the Nadley. The GN field generators on the legs open up as well, just like the GN cannons. Master grade Sasabi for scale, coined as such by our community member and friend Old School Skill, segment incoming to demonstrate how the GN005 holds up to some big kits. Next to the Sasabi, it seems small, but definitely defends itself. Next to the past Quant, full saver, we can begin to see that it starts to impose with the thicker figure. Next to Derek's favorite, the Dual Gundam, which is also armored up, the Virtue looks much more intimidating. And to finally put it to shame, here is a perfect grade unleashed next to it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what is the most intimidating kit in your opinion. Aside from the cannons, the Virtue handles the GN Bazooka. Yes, Derek, we know you love this gun. The bigger, the better. The GN Bazooka is how weapons should come, with different colored pieces to make a much more interesting piece. It features some cool gimmicks as well. You can extend the barrel, I'll do it the easy way, by literally opening the gun up <laughs> and pulling the extensions because I can't seem to fit anything in there to pull them out. You can also open the gun with a quick pull while you hold the back. The bazooka can be held with two hands or with one. You get to decide how you get to pose your kit. In the box, you also get stickers. That's all I can say. Stickers, they're gross. I sound like a broken record, but come on. Include some water decals already, Bandai. The foil stickers get a pass as they work well for those who don't want to paint their kits and want their kits to look good up on the shelf. I guess you can tell from the way that I've talked about this kit that I really liked it. And that's all one really needs to hope for when buying a kit. Am I going to like it? So if you're watching this video for a quick opinion, here it is. Get the kit. It's worth getting. It's a two-in-one. You either keep the Natalie form or you keep the Virtue form all armored up. And if you have money to spare, if you got those deep pockets, get two of them to display both forms. Before I finish this review, I want to give a shout out to the Dynamis, which is one of my favorite Master Grades of all time. All Master Grades from here on out should aspire to have as great of a build as the Dynamis, and I believe that the Virtue really nails that. The stability and presence of the Dynamis. It's all written in the plastic DNA of the Virtue. And the Gunpla gods know it needed that DNA because for such a big kit, it holds itself very well, be it on a table or in an action base. Something I personally don't think the Curious does well. Then again, I may be wrong. Let me know in the comments what you think. I want to thank our sponsor Plamod for making this review possible. We couldn't do what we do without their help. And though they aren't a storefront, let us ask you that if you're in Canada and have a local hobby store, ask them if Plamod is hooking them up. Thanks to our subscribers for watching our videos. And for those who aren't subscribed, please consider doing so as we have lots of content in the pipeline for the future. Our analytics have shown that around 63% of our audience isn't subbed.
and that 63% would help us grow a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, please, as that would also help us. As always, this is Master Great Jazz signing off. Until next time.